Hi, today we're going to make some bed bug vials. So, not a whole lot to it, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so we've got our vial. Uh, it's a little plastic vial. I don't remember exactly what size these are, but uh, it's about inch and three quarters, two inches tall, and maybe an inch in circumference, um, or excuse me, diameter. Um, anyways, plastic vial, and we've got a half inch drill bit in the drill press here, and we're going to take it and drill a hole in the cap here not necessary to do this on drill press you could do it with a hand drill you could do it with a dremel um, basically any way you can get a hole you can even do it with a knife if you're careful not to cut yourself but i wouldn't suggest it so we're going to drill a hole in the cap here and then we'll take it and sand it so stay tuned okay so we're going to drill it out with the drill press here it's important if you do this with the drill press or drill keep the drill bit as slow as possible um, because the faster it spins the more that plastic it melts which is not a big deal but it does make the cleanup a little bit harder once you've got the hole drilled you can peel away most of what's melted and then you take a dremel with a drum sander attachment and just clean everything up smooth it out as much as possible okay we got all of our vials finished up here holes in them we're ready to put screens on I've got the screen we're going to cut this into about inch and a half by inch and a half squares and then we'll get started gluing on gluing the screens on to the vials this does not have to be exact you just want to make sure it's plenty big enough to cover the the whole uh, top of the vial and then have some excess that you can trim off. So now we're gonna take the glue gun and we're gonna run a bead of glue all the way around the top of the cap. And you don't wanna to go too thick here, but just a nice even bead. And then once you do that, you take the screen, you flip the cap over and press the, the cap down onto the screen. Hold it five or 10 seconds till the glue cools. And then we'll peel it off. And here we're gonna put in another bead of glue on the inside in that lip where the screen meets the um, cap and then I like to go back and put one more coat on the very outside and that just gives it a nice looking finish and then you can come back with a pair of scissors or an exacto knife like I did here and trim that excess screen away and that's pretty much it now you've got a functioning bed bug vial and nothing's gonna get out of there Thanks for watching.